so I chose to do my presentation on canine parvovirus. Um, I don't have any experience with it, nor do I really know what it is, so I'm just going to share with what information I have. Um, so what is it? It's a highly contagious disease that can affect all dogs, but mainly unvaccinated dogs and puppies, usually six weeks to six months old, are at greater risk. Um, the common form is intestinal form, so it usually attacks any area of the intestines right here in the shaded region. Um, the less common form is the cardiac form. Um, that's obviously with the heart, and it usually occurs with fetuses or very young puppies, followed, usually followed by death of the dog. Um, and the virus affects the dog's gastrointestinal tract and is spread by dog-to-dog -dog contact and contact with contaminated feces, environment, or people. Um, so it's spread by um, pretty much feces. So a carrier dog excretes feces that contains the virus. Another dog will come over and digest it, and then signs will start occurring. I'm not sure how fast the signs occur, but I do know um, within 48 to 72 hours, the dog may pass away. Um, signs and symptoms include severe bloody diarrhea, lethargy, anorexia, fever, vomiting, and severe weight loss. Um, so once you see these signs, you immediately need to take your dog to the vet. Um, so once these signs occur and you take them to the vet, they'll go under physical examination, biomedical tests, fecal examination, urine analysis, abdominal radiographs, and ultrasounds. Um, the main one that they look for is fecal examination because that's usually where it will be seen better. Um, so treatments, there's no specific drug that will kill parvovirus. Um, it's just intended to support the dog's body systems, like the immune system where it occurs the most, and so it will fight off the virus. Um, treatment is started immediately, and the dog needs to be isolated because it is so contagious that it can spread very easily from, um, between dogs. Um, the parvovirus vaccination, just to give you information on how it works, it's given as a four or five way vaccine. So you can have one shot usually, and it'll be paired with like December, hepatitis A, leptospira, parainfluenza, and parvovirus. Um, the first dose is administered at six weeks old, and then it's given every two to four weeks until the dog is 16 weeks old. So that usually totals about three shots. And then a booster shot is given one year after the last dose was given, and then every three years after that. So prevention of parvovirus obviously is vaccination and good hygiene. Um, you wanna be cautious with bringing a puppy where puppies like to congregate. So that's usually, if you take your dog to puppy, puppy or obedience classes, um, any daycare, parks, kennels, any of those areas where there's a lot of dogs. And then the main important thing is you do not wanna let your puppy or dog come into contact with fecal waste of other dogs because that's mainly how it is spread. And there's your sources. Let's give her a soft round of applause. Oh, I guess the dogs are gone now, so it doesn't matter. But you know, it's, I'm in the high habit of that. Any comments, questions? There's a question. So I work at a local humane society, and uh, we've had a couple outbreaks of parvovirus, and there's an incubation time of like 10 days where they will be like asymptomatic, and after the 10 days, they will show signs. Yeah. You said you didn't know how long yeah, it takes. Yeah, so yeah. you're trying to answer yeah. that question. About 10 days before you get clinical then. Yeah. yeah, I guess there is a little outbreak around, I think, town that's yeah. parvo. We've had like two or three outbreaks. Yeah, and I think somebody that was uh, in one of my other classes, they talked about it too, and I think they work down at the vet school, and they've seen an uptick in the number. And it's all usually puppies. Puppies yeah. are the worst case scenarios. Like high mortality in puppies, but relatively low mortality in adults. Okay. Okay, there's another question. So, work at the Humane Society here. We had a couple parvo puppies come in. And um, so, if you think your dog is parvo, I call the vet before yeah. just walking in. Don't bring it in, yeah. Bio disaster. Um, mm -hmm. And the other thing is, you can kind of tell them their face is really sunken and they just look sickly. Mm -hmm. And um, 
I think the cause of death for parvo is dehydration. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because mm. yeah, so they have so much diarrhea and they can't replenish it. And I've been told that their diarrhea is just unbelievably horrible. Mm -hmm. Like you smell it. And yeah, you know I've heard it's like really bloody too. Bloody I've been okay. fortunate enough to not know this. Before, yeah, 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 exactly. Apparently you know it when you know it. That's a good so, point. I know some vet clinics, if you say my puppy's sick, They'll say, leave it in the car. We'll come out and take some samples. And that's smart because then you're keeping it out of the clinic. So, yeah. Puppies, it's bad. <laughs>